Hey everyone, thank you for joining 302 Sobriety. Uh, waiting for my bus to go home. Things uh, have changed in the last couple of days. I went to, uh, how do you call it, to uh, the foreclosure yesterday. And, uh, well, it's a the foreclosure, it's a mediation process that I was going through. And I'm no longer going through the mediation process. I have to work with my lawyer um, to uh, follow certain steps to prolong this process for a while until I could make more money uh, and or find a, a place to live. And I have to do it through the courts. But the mediation process has stopped. It, there's no use for me to go to the mediation uh, uh, process because they can't do anything. If it was uh, January of 2018, then I could do a, a loan modification. Apparently, uh, it's every two years where I'm allowed to do a loan modification. And my time would be January 2018. And if I could postpone it to that time so I could do a loan modification, hopefully I could... Uh, do what I need and the only way to do it is to get paid more or get a, a full-time second job uh, excuse the noise um, trucks are going by uh, otherwise uh, it, I mean it's not a bad I can't do anything about it you know I'm still sober which is the biggest thing you know people go through a lot worse uh, I'm losing my house. Uh, these are the prices you pay for uh, drinking and driving, uh, for making the wrong decision. And I'm paying the price, and it's fine. You know, it'll pass. Uh, I turn it over to my higher power, and uh, things are working well. You know, uh, it, it, you know, being an alcoholic, I, I want to be in control all the time, and that's the one of the biggest things and the biggest issues with uh, alcoholics. Uh, for myself, I'm self-centered, uh, don't worry about anything else, and I want everything to go my way. I want to control everything, and the things I can't control, I want to control, and the things I can control, I don't control. And I've been uh, doing well. Uh, the only thing I can control is myself, how I handle things, how I, I feel. I can't control anything I see out of my eyes. And I keep that in mind. And uh, my goal is to be happy, uh, treat people kind. I don't want to be that same person I was uh, when I was younger. You know, I was wild. I was crazy. I was, uh, yeah, you, you wouldn't have liked me, put it that way. And that's to say the least. So, you know, with that, uh, probation's almost over. I went to probation today. And uh, he says uh, I have to go see him again in August. But if he calls me beforehand, that means I don't have to see him again. And he'll send me some papers that I completed my probation. And that's one thing. So it did pass. It passed. You know, uh, I remember uh, when they said I had probation. And I thought it was the end of the world that I wouldn't get through it. And here it is, a year later. Uh, I went through the monitor phase. I went through, uh, whoa. You know, it, it was rough for me for a while. But once I learned to let it go and to say, hey, you know something, just go with the flow. And uh, what happens, happens. I can't, I couldn't change it. You know, and that, that was a realization that I needed to to understand and which I did and finally I was able to throw my hands up in the air and just say um, God my higher power uh, Buddha would you know do your thing you know the energies that be just do your thing and um, I'll hang on that's all I could do is hang on and uh, not react by drinking because then my sick thinking comes into play and it's like, uh, oh, I'm sorry for myself. What did I do this, you know? And when I, once I start feeling sorry for myself, I'm in a danger zone. And uh, it's all about me from that point on. And no, I, my, my meetings, I go to my meetings uh, religiously. 
uh, I talk to my sponsor. I, you know, I do what I have to do for myself to stay sober uh, and to handle life on life's terms without drinking. I was, I mean, I was handling life on life's terms, but with alcohol behind it. Uh, and it's not that way anymore. My desire to drink has stopped. I'm surrounded by people who are serious about their recovery. Uh, I don't surround myself with people that uh, are into the negative. So, you know, try to make it work for yourself uh, and, take, and take it one day at a time. Some days are going to be worse than others, but that's where the work comes in, you know. Uh, use that telephone. Call your uh, your fellowship. Call your your sponsor uh, if you're an AA. Do what you need to do uh, to stay sober. I mean, you worked, you walked in the snow, in the rain to get whatever high you wanted to get. You know, you did whatever you had to do at the time. Well, do what you need to do this time to stay sober and handle because life is better without it. Trust me, I, and I say people see it. People see how I react, how I'm not, I don't flip off the handle, you know, I, I just don't go off. Uh, I get angry at myself, yeah, I'm not perfect, but again, it's not, again, it's not about being perfect. It's about progressing, progress every day. Be a better person than you were the day before. Be kinder. Uh, if the, the whole thing is be kind to people and if you can't be kind then don't make it difficult for people you know that's a that's your sick way of thinking that was my sick way of thinking I have to just relax take it easy I still do my meditation I still you know I have my incense I have my room set up my quiet room you guys uh, share this Stay sober. Work at it. One day at a time. It gets better. You know, you're going to look back at what you, the problems that you're going through right now, and you're going to say, wow, I, I worked myself up for nothing because it passed. And that's showing the energies around the, the other people that are going through the same thing. That just hang on. It'll pass. <coughs> Excuse me. Just uh, share like subscribe to 302 sobriety and stay sober my friends one day at a time take it easy now